Minneapolis has just been named the most uncomfortable city when it comes to temperature. Thanks a lot, scientific reports. Jerks. One of the 50 Big jerks. <laughs> One of the 50 largest U.S. cities in the lower 48, Minneapolis has the most extreme swings in temperature every year, qualifying it as, according to the authors, the least comfortable. In a typical year, we go from the 20s below to the upper 90s. And so that's what they based this study on, the wide temperature swings. I spent a little time reading the study this morning, which let me tell you, if you want to spend a good quality <laughs> time on Friday morning, read a scientific nature study. But they were looking at heating degree days and cooling degree days, and we have the most number of those. And what is that? What does that even mean? It's a, a kind of a, a thing that the heating and cooling industry uses to gauge how much energy you would use in a given year on average to heat and cool your home. So you think about a comfortable day as having a daytime average of 65, and for each day, each degree, each day above and below that, you add all of those numbers up, and that gives you your, your total. And we ended up mm -hmm. with the most. And I'm assuming the people who wrote the study aren't Minnesotans, of right? Course. Of no, course, no. of course. No. Why would you be? They're in California. But what do you think? I mean, I, we were talking about this before. You know, in Lyon County, in Marshall, I think it was a couple years ago, we did a story on this. But we had one day where you had both a blizzard warning and a tornado warning. Within, yep. I don't know, miles it is, though, it's, it's bizarre. Sure. Variety is good. I grew up here, and it's still bizarre. I'm you still like the variety, though. Rachel. I love the variety. Variety is the spice of life, and I just think um, it's lovely to have seven degrees and sunny every day, but I love winter. It's a nice change. New clothes. Let's take, let's, take a look at the, <laughs> let's take a look at the five least comfortable cities. And I am proud to say I have lived in three of them. So apparently I thrive on being uncomfortable. Perhaps you're being uncomfortable. Yeah. Maybe it is my fault. Maybe that's part of the research. These are all in the Midwest, which from a science perspective kind of makes sense. The farther away you are from a large body of water like an ocean, the more extreme swings in temperature you get. Uh, number six, just off the bottom of that list, though, was Miami. That was the sixth least comfortable Do you guys think it is there. uncomfortable temperature-wise here? I don't, but I've also lived in the South where you have five days of 100% humidity and 100 degree temperatures, and that's bad. That's uncomfortable anyway. Those were the days you had a perm, right? Yes, Or at exactly. least it looked like you had a perm. Exactly. I wish I could get a perm. <laughs> I, I, hate, do it. I hate to make a, a controversial pronouncement here, okay. but it is uncomfortable here. I mean, if you look at this compared to other areas, I mean, Not in June. We're used, yeah, we have yeah, one month. The reason we have top 10 weather days is because people joke half seriously that there are, are only 10. 10 really great days around here. Right. So when I you, think that's not true, but but it is uncomfortable. Compared to the cities that lead the least, uh, led the list of most comfortable, it is true. Should and we see those? Let's do it. I mean, when you think about San Diego. Super comfortable. Very comfortable. And of course, all of these were in California. Well, that's obviously the left coast bias of the mm -hmm. authors of the study, right? Right. Well, they can't even use their sprinkler in their lawn. So. <laughs> the, this is more important. It's just, than just temperature, though. It is. is. The, it's more important, too, than just talking about it because 41% of the energy we use in our in our everyday existence goes into heating and cooling our homes. Mm -hmm. And they were looking at climate change as how that may change the reality for certain cities. For certain cities, but it turns out when you look at the projections through the end of this century, even with a changing climate, which is happening, the Twin Cities will still be the least comfortable. I am US. fascinated, though, we talked about this earlier as well, but just people that grew up in Florida and Louisiana and, and Texas, and then they move here and stay here. So yeah. Did you, yeah. you don't remember January, <laughs> February, your first year here, you just started looking just over that. stay inside, it's yeah. fine. So we love your feedback on this. Yeah, would you trade the Twin Cities in Minnesota for the climate in San Diego? Send your thoughts by going to WCCO.com slash Facebook or WCCO.com slash Twitter, and you can tag WCCO TV on Instagram as well. Show a picture of you being super uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Right. We love, <laughs> of we love it here. A little uncomfortableness, I mean, it makes you stronger. Right. I think. Yes. One woman we, we, talk, we talked to <laughs> yesterday said if you don't like it, then you got to move, right? right? You can't live here and still complain about it. Right. We